y'all, Jess from Sunflower Dairy, and today I'm out in the garden, and I'm going to show you all, I'm out here collecting some seeds, so I wanted to show you all how I do that process. So, over here I have cilantro, if you all remember from some of the garden tours, I had big long socks of cilantro growing here, so today I'm just going to be harvesting some cilantro seed. So as you can see here, these little brown spots, those are the cilantro seeds. So pretty easy. So once these are all brown and dried, you just collect those in your hand. And then you have your cilantro seeds. So if you want to completely make sure that these are completely dried out, you can lay them out on a paper towel. But these, they're, the plant is completely dried out and the seeds are showing no signs of green or moisture. So I'm going to go ahead and just put these cilantro seeds in a bag and label them and then use them for the garden next year. Alright, so next up I have some calendula over here that I'm going to be collecting some seeds from. So the calendula, as you know, They've had these really bright flowers most of the garden season, and now they're starting to do this. They're starting to brown, and I'll show you with these. So, as you can see here, you have all these different layers, and they're like a half circular shape. And that whole thing is seeds. So if you just go like this, that whole thing is calendula seeds. So you can see here, there's just so many, and there's all different sizes. There's these small little ones, and then there's these bigger ones. But these are all calendula seeds here. Alright, so for there's all different kinds of things that you can collect seeds from. And so for beans, you know, this isn't ready yet, but so for beans, when you're collecting seeds, you want to co completely let these beans fill out in the pods right here until they actually get like big puffy seeds inside the pods of the beans and then you're going to let them completely dry out until you can actually like hear them rattle. So that's how I would collect seeds for beans and then for carrots so a lot of you are like oh that's queen queen anne's lace but this is actually carrots so as you can see down here this is the carrot foliage and then it shoots these flowers up like this and you know, it sort of looks like the Queen's Anne's lace, and then it will turn into this stage, and then the carrots will, the seed will start browning up, and then you just sprinkle these in your hand, and then those are your carrot seeds. And then there's, there's quite a few other things 
as far as collecting seeds. So I will take you over here and give you some other examples. So for lettuce, you know, lettuce is, you know, basic leaves, but then your lettuce will start shooting up like this. And then it's going to get to this process of just sending this up and this is called a bolting and so it's going to be sending up these flowers out of this and then it will start producing seed for your lettuce and then once it's all dried out then you can sprinkle them and use that for your lettuce seed but when your lettuce starts bolting like this it usually gets very bitter so once it gets to this point you want to leave just a couple of these because you get a lot of seeds off of one lettuce plant so I usually leave a couple and then I'll have plenty of lettuce seeds so and then you can just plant some more new lettuce and just have a couple that are producing seed for you and then you have other lettuce that you can eat off of so you're not taking up a lot of space just to get some seeds going all right so show you a couple more things as far as seeds go so heading over here Alright, as you can see, this is some beautiful kale right here, and if you see these little spikes, these are kale seeds. So I'll just break one of these off here, and then sprinkle it in my hand. And if you can see those little tiny spots, those are the seeds from the kale. And kale is in the brassica family, so kale and cabbage, broccoli, all of that kind of thing. Those all pretty much have the same kind of seed production. So you get those, get those little brown spikes and then you get those, those little seeds out of those. So that's just a few ways and a few different plants of different kinds of seeds that I have collected from. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.